All right, people, revolution again. Hey, this is your brother, Brother Leonard, the truth seeker. Let me see, I'm still out here grinding and everything like that. And here for your day of five minutes of truth, right here. And I promise I'm not going to go over five minutes because I'm five minutes away from my next pickup. So I'm not going to go over that. So let me get to this real quick. Online, we all like to have our own discussions and have our own topics and we, we feel passionate about certain things. But when you want to make an argument about anything, it doesn't matter whether it's uh, politics or or for example, eh, who's the greatest ball player today? You could come with, you know, Steph Curry, eh, you know, some may say Klay Thompson, some may say it's still Kobe. But you could come with this argument, you could come with all your stuff. But make sure that if you're coming to an argument, come with your facts and with your information. Okay? It is not up to the person that you are debating with or arguing with or discussing with that they have to find the information. It's not up to them. Case in point. Most people know, like I said, I've been doing some things and I have this video out on Brian Karn. Uh, where I go through and illustrate how he is envelope reading, how he is cold reading the people, how he is trying to present that God is being accurate, but in fact, he's read envelopes and then he misleads the people by doing cold reading. I explained that on the video and I've been going through these comments for the past two days. One comment stuck out to me just now, that's why I'm making this video. This one person, I forgot her name. I would have called her name out on this thing because I ain't scared, but I just forgot your name. She says that Brian Carr gave a prophecy, gave a prophecy about something, something happening in the U.S. justice. And then a few days later, Justice Scalia or Anthony Scalia dies. And then she wants to use that as a point of trying to say that Brian Karn is an accurate person. So I was like, okay, I see where you're going with this. All right, commenter, provide me a video link of this so that I can see it. She replies, well, since you seem like you've done all this research on him, that you should be able to provide, you should be able to find it yourself. Uh-uh. That is not my job. That is the laziness of your job. See, that's the problem with you Christian folk. That's the problem with a lot of you church folk. You allow others to do your own to do your homework instead of you picking up yourself and typing a couple of letters in Google and finding the stuff for yourself and doing your own homework. You need to do your homework. You need to test and validate whether or not what I'm saying is true or whether anybody's saying that, that is true or what is accurate. That is incumbent upon you. If you're going to make an argument, if you're going to make an argument and say that he said this in this video, he might have said something else in a different video that might have been close to that. But I don't know which one you're talking about. Okay? So you need to sit back there and provide the information that you were saying that you that, that you that is going to prove your point. You need to do your homework. People, do your homework. Do your due diligence so that you can be prepared as a people. A lot of us, we don't do that. We will sit in church on Sunday after Sunday and the pastor will say whatever the hell he wants to say to us and we accept it as gospel truth and we don't take the time to go into the scripture to define whether he is speaking or she is speaking the truth to us. But we will just accept it because they said it. It is our laziness that we are perishing. The scripture is very clear. For it is the lack of knowledge that we are perishing. 
We are losing this battle because we are too damn lazy to do the work to be able to call ourselves children of God. Paul told Timothy, study, show yourself approved. People, do your homework. All right, this has been Five Minutes of Truth with Brother Leonard, the Truth Seeker, and I will come to you again on the next topic. I don't know what it is, but I will come to you on another day with some more Five Minutes of Truth. Revolution, everybody.